Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report, as well as cooking and tailgating and Joe Boo's day job. We some busy mother humpers around here. You know, I got back home yesterday after varnishing the floor yesterday morning at the Red Brick House, so that way I can get back tomorrow and get that bedroom together for Thanksgiving. Stopped by the stove picked up not one not two but three pork shoulders because we're playing carolina carolina's known for barbecue so we're doing the barbecue sub today because we have we're losing a great friend daniel hernandez a shout out to one of the many wonderful veterans out there that keep us mother humpers safe daniel this will be his last game here because he him and his family are moving and so we want to make this a great sub so we got the barbecue sub uh, working. You, you want to see? You want to see? It's been shh, it's been cooking already for 13 hours. Internal temperature is 186. We need to get to about 195 to 205. But look at this. Look at that. You see the bark on there? You see that bark? Oh, that smoke ring on there is going to be fantastic. I've been up about every two and a half hours here because this is how much I love my people. Hope my friends appreciate when they come over the amount of love that we put onto a sub. Every two and a half hours I've been out here adding some more wood so we get smoke on those things. And that's the dedication that you have to have in order to have greatness. Now, I don't know if this is great or not. I'm told it's really, really good. And I'll stack up my barbecue against just about anybody. That's the way I roll. That, that, that's the way I roll. And I hope that that's what we get from our Cowboys. Now, our Cowboys, I've heard, it, it, well, people downplaying. Downplaying what we did against the Giants. Because it's just the Giants of things. But anytime an offense, I don't care who you are, gets 600 and what, 51 yards of offense? In a game, that shit don't happen. But to see, here's what I like to see is not so much that we beat the hell out of the Giants as it is the maturation of our offense. Where we went from, I don't know what we were at first. I honestly don't know what the hell our offense was to begin the season. It looked like, what is Mike McCarthy doing? We miss Kellen Moore. We miss Kellen Moore. We're like, oh my God. Mike McCarthy is a freaking idiot. What is this? We're, we're, we're just trying to run the football straight ahead with Tony Pollard, who's an outside runner. CeeDee Lamb is literally pissed off because he's in a contract year and he's not getting the ball and part of the offense. Dak Prescott, he looks like a statue out there. Maybe the injuries have literally taken its toll and he is just not there. And he was so far away from the MVP conversation. C.D. Lamb was so far away from the best receiver in football conversation. Brandon Cooks was so far away from the thousand yard seasons that he's had with everybody. And Tony Pollard looked terrible. Well, Tony Pollard, he's still got to turn that around. But you've seen... The Cowboys come up with a new wrinkle, or I don't know if it's a wrinkle, or feature for a guy each week. Each week, it's been, okay, we've done worked on this guy, so now let's work on this guy to get him going. We'll throw in some new things for him. We'll feature him. We'll come out the box and hit Brandon Cooks in the first couple of plays to get him into the flow. And then when people start worrying about that, then we'll get back to CeeDee Lamb because we already got that going. And then, okay, now Michael Gallup, he's been kind of beat down in things and has been, you know, we, we tried to get him going, but he ended up having the dropsies. He had the dropsies and stuff and uh, couldn't get open. So we kind of moved away from him. But now let's see if we can get him going. Maybe today is the day we get Tony Pollard going in the running game. Carolina is not as good at stopping the run as they are against the pass. And as people have pointed out to me, that Carolina, that they are tough at home, you know, that they held 
uh, that they beat the Texans 15 to 13. But I, okay, I'll just say this: the Cowboys need not to have a letdown in this game. Cowboys need to go in and act like they're a team that's headed to the playoffs going versus a team that is stupid enough to trade away their number one pick to the Bears. Yeah. Yeah. The Cowboys have a penthesy. A pen, a pen, penthesy? So I, they, hold on. Let me get some more chocolate. It's actually cold out here this morning. There's frost on the windows. <clears throat> I can see my breath. I know what the trolls going to say. <laughs> Your death breath stinks so much. You can always see that nasty ass breath. Okay. The Cowboys have a way of getting you hyped up about what they're doing and then turning around and letting you down. It's kind of like the Tampa Bay game. We came through and said, maybe this is our year for the playoffs. And then we followed it up with uh, the 49ers. So the Cowboys need to continue continue playing well and getting better each week that's my hope that we go in we get a nice win we, we beat the point spread and we get a victory and we get out healthy because more than anything else as you've seen like Mark Andrews is going to have surgery who is Lamar Jackson's favorite target that's major the Eagles actually got some good news as far as Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard's had his surgery. They didn't put him on injured reserve, and there's optimism that he'll be back by the Cowboys game, which would be huge for them. Um, I think the team is a little bit worried about the Cowboys um, because you don't worry about Dallas Goddard coming back that soon if you believe you're going to be locked up. You're looking at him more as the playoffs than just the Cowboys, but that's just me. And then, of course, the Eagles tomorrow night have their big game. So we need to set the tone. One o'clock game, get out the gates good, do some good work, get our guys off the field healthy, and get ready for Thanksgiving. Yeah, get ready for Thanksgiving. All right, I got to go make some coleslaw and stuff here. The meats, they're doing good. They're up to 86.3. They've gone up a half degree since we've been out here. Good. And I know one thing. I need to put some shoes on before I come back out here because it's cold as fuck. Peace.